In this lecture, we are going to set up our test environment. I hope you have downloaded the file from the previous lecture. If you haven't downloaded it yet, then you should do it now. If you extract the zip file, it will contain a folder called Hello Radar 2 and uh, inside that there is a VirtualBox virtual machine. I choose VirtualBox for this course because it's free and everybody can install it, even if you normally work with uh, VMware. I'm not going to show you how to install VirtualBox now, so just go to the internet and download and install it. If that's ready, then uh, in VirtualBox go to Machine, Add, and uh, choose the folder what you extracted. And in the folder, you need to open the hellorodary2.vbox file. And then you will get new virtual machine here in the list. Hello, Rodri2. You are not going to have this text here because that just means that I have a snapshot and you're not going to have a snapshot, but that doesn't really matter. So if it's there, then just click on start and your virtual machine is going to boot up. This is an X Ubuntu virtual machine. So it runs the XFCE desktop environment. I choose that only because it's uh, more lightweight than the normal Ubuntu desktop environment. So to log in, the user is ether and the password is for ether. Okay, so now if we open a terminal, which is going to be our main tool during this uh, course, if you look around here, there is a folder called Hello Radari. And you can go into that. And there are a couple of files here. So on this machine, everything is already installed, but I will show you anyway how to install Radari if you are at some point later on using it on your own machine. So let's just go to the internet. And I will just search for GitHub Radari to So this is the main source of uh, of Radari. It's also where most of the documentation can be found. So it's definitely a place, place for you to go even if you don't install it right now. So say clone or download. I'm going to clone it. So I just copy the git URL so I'm actually going to delete the Radari folder here only to show you how to install it. So git clone. If you're not familiar with git, this is just a uh, git clone is the command to check out a repository from uh, from git. So I'm checking out the Radari2 repository. It's coming. All right, it's down. So if you see, we have the Radari2 folder again. And I step inside. And to install it, I will execute install.sh under the sys folder and it's going to compile it and uh, then copy the binaries to the location where it can be uh, used. All right, the installation is finished. Again, you don't really have to do this if you're using the machine I provided and you should use that because it's already installed there. But if you want to use later on on your own machine, this is how you do it. So Radari installs a couple of executables on your system, which uh, we can check out under bin R. So these are the, the, the binaries, but these are now accessible from everywhere in the system because it was installed that way. So uh, you can just execute them 
without the path. The main binary is Rodary2 or R2, which we'll use the most. So that's it. In the next lecture, we are going to get to know our target for this course, which you can see here, the server.exe. So see you there, and thanks for watching. Bye.